Hi, I'm Mattia from Zebra BI and welcome to the Zebra BI for Power BI product update. The new versions of our Power BI visualizations are live and we're excited to show you all of the new storytelling features that will greatly improve or simplify the way that you add insights to your data. Follow me into Power BI and let me show you. In this release, we have added a no code, no modeling and no docs way to add on visual quick comments on both charts and tables. An easy way to bring attention to important numbers with on visual highlighting for Zebra BI tables and custom value formats for data labels with the format for model feature on charts. Now let me show you all the new features in action. One of Zebra BI's flagship features is the ability to show dynamic comments. The important thing with comments is that the comments must be linked directly to the data point that they are explaining. And up until now, the linking has had to be done in the data model. With this release, however, we've made the commenting feature easier to use and, well, just all around better. This marks the start of our annotation layer and the new way to add storytelling to your dashboards with ease. Comments are important in reporting as they can offer an immediate explanation for certain results. Having the reason takes away the why and leaves you with enough insight to find a solution or something to alleviate the problem. Let me show you. So imagine you're an HR manager and you see this terminations report. Now, we can clearly see that most of the terminations were in the lead researcher and laboratory technician roles. But why? Now, your only option is to find out by holding a meeting or by asking the analyst only to learn that he only put the dashboard together and doesn't really know and that we should actually con... Well, you get the idea. So. We've all been there, right? But what if we make just a little adjustment? The report was sent out to all of the stakeholders of the report, right? Some of them that understand the why behind the numbers and they were able to provide the context in the form of comments directly to the report. And we can see that three new comments were added directly to certain data points explaining the why. So the why being that market conditions are pushing companies to offer better salaries for the same roles. And we also know that this already started in July. So we really must do something about this fast, right? And as a manager, now that we know the why, we can act. And keep in mind that right now that there was no need for a meeting, no need for back and forth, just insight in an instant. And one more important thing. Since we have quite a detailed visualization here and we might want to focus on a specific part of it to analyze it, right? We can also hide the comment box, explore the data that we want, and then when we're done, add the comment box back without losing any insight or the information. Great. Now imagine that you're on an executive meeting, right? And you must show the company's performance and you have this dashboard. The first question you get is what was happening with our Dragon Motors and HVI point of sales? Well, on the same meeting, the sales director informs all of the attendees that there were some unplanned renovations that cut down on the hours that the POS was open. Great! Well, let's add these insights on our dashboard right away so that we don't need to have to send an explanation to anybody that's going to be looking at this report after the meeting. We can also highlight the best performing POS to guide more attention to what we were doing right. So in the end, our meeting was a great asset and it allowed us to understand how our business was performing and actually gave us some action, right, points to proactively go and check all of the other point of sales before maintenance is needed and with this try to maximize the hours that they stay open. Great. Now, what about financials? This is probably the hardest part of business reporting to understand if you're not somebody that's currently working in finance. With the added visualization, however, the financial flow uh, that the PL is trying to show us is pretty obvious. 
but financial statements are usually not presented in this way. They are usually shown in tabular form with pages and pages and pages of explanations. But this gives us the best of both worlds. The comments for understanding the business side and the visualization to understand the financial part. And since we're most interested in a month-to-month -month analysis, this means that the comments that we add have to be dynamic and present the explanations for the data point in a certain time frame as well. So if we change the month, the visual representation changes and so do the comments, giving us the right insight right when we need it. Great, so now that we understand how it can help, let's take a look at how it works. To enter the annotation layer, simply click on the icon that is located in the top right corner of your visualizations. From there, select the commenting icon, the one that looks like a comment placeholder, like a circled number. Now we can place it on the visual, directly on the data point that we need to explain. This will automatically open the comment box and now we can simply write the comment that we need. When you finished writing your comment, simply save the comment and you're done. See, without the need to go into the model, without DAX or having to make any new measures. You can also add this comment by entering the annotation layer again and entering edit mode or simply delete a comment that you feel you don't need anymore. This works the same way with easy to understand standardized UI on both the charts and the tables visuals. One important addition to this is also the highlighting feature that you are able to see in the consolidated financials case that I showed you in the beginning. Highlighting annotations are just like virtual highlighters that can help you point out important data points on your visuals and make sure that your readers notice them. You can use them to highlight either single data points or groups of data points depending on what you want to draw attention to. To get started, look for the annotation layer button in the top right corner of your visual, just like before, click on it and then find the highlight button in the toolbar that appears. Let's say you want to highlight the single data points. That's where ellipsis highlight comes in. Just click on the data point you want to highlight and a circle will appear around it, making it stand out. Area highlight is used to highlight multiple data points. To add the area highlight, click and drag the mouse pointer over the data points you want to select. That's how to use the feature. Now let's get into more details. When using slicers, filters and other visuals to filter the contents of your charts, you naturally want your annotations and dynamic comments to respond accordingly. However, Due to the restrictions in Power BI, you need to provide the charts and the tables visual with the information on what data is actually filtering it. To achieve this, simply add the fields and measures that you want your annotations to respond to, to the dedicated filters placeholder. For instance, if you're using the slicer to select KPIs and you want the comments on the charts visual to be associated with each selected KPI, add the selected KPI measure to the filters bucket. This way, you'll display the right annotation for each slicer selection. One more thing is important to note. The comments that are added via the annotation layer are only saved within the visual itself and are not added to the data model. This ensures the Microsoft certification of our visuals and even more data security for you as right back to the data model is not permitted. This new capability will be available to you once you update to the new charts and tables visuals. An important point is also that existing commentary will continue to work just as before with the added option of adding a comment through the annotation layer. The biggest benefit here is that this way a comment or a highlight can be added with minimal prior knowledge of Power BI as they do not require any new measures, no docs, or even nothing added to the data model. Another addition coming your way is also the format for model that is being rolled out to charts. This feature was already available in tables from February 2024, and it's now made its way to charts. With the new charts version, you can switch the data label unit setting to the Power BI option. 
which allows you to read the format of the data labels directly from the Power BI model itself. This means that the numbers will no longer be out of formatted as they usually are by the Zebra BI visuals, but the format will be replaced with your format that you have set on the model. For more information on the read format for model option, please go and read our knowledge base article linked in the description of the video. Thank you for tuning in to our product update. For a full list of improvement, check out our change log on our website. Thank you for your ongoing support and I'll see you in the next update.